everybody. It's Miss Christy. We are here for Church with Chirp today, again. And we are doing lesson number two, God Loves People, week number three. Remember, we do each lesson four times so that all of the message sinks into our brain so we remember it forever. Let's look at our main idea today again. God loves people. It's true. Now we're going to talk about our story time rules. I hope that you're ready for this. Quiet mouth, quiet hands, quiet feet, watching eyes, sit in chair. I'm sitting in my chair. Where are you sitting today? A chair? A couch? Your bed? The floor? I don't know, but I know that you are listening and you are learning. Here we go. Get your main idea strips ready. God loves people. God loves people. Look at all these different people. God loves people who do good things. Taking care of a baby, that's a good choice. I have something on my finger. I will get that off. Helping to clean is a good choice. There, I got it off. I can make another thumbs up. Helping clean, good choice. Helping my friend who can't get to the lunch line by herself, good choice. God loves that. And God loves people who make good choices. God loves people who do bad things. This boy is saying mean words to this kid, and this boy is yelling swear words, and this girl is kicking down her brother's block tower. Look how sad he is. Those things are bad choices. God does not want us to do those things because they hurt us, and they hurt other people, and they hurt God's heart. He does not want us to make bad choices. However, remember, God loves people, even when we do bad things. God loves all people all the time. Let's say it together. God loves people. It's very true. I'm going to give you a chance to say it by yourself now. Here goes. Well done. Now that we did our story together, it's time for our Bible verse. Here it is. God's love lasts forever. Psalm 136, 26. That was excellent. I'm going to say it one more time, and then you get to do it all by yourself. Ready? God's love lasts forever. Psalm 136, 26. Okay, here it goes. Three, two, one, go! job. The more we repeat these things, the more they sink into our brains. And that's what we want, because then we will know how to think the thoughts that are true. And that's very important. We are going to do art together again today. Are you excited? I have put in the information box the supplies that you will need to follow along and do the art activity with me today. Grown-ups, if you would like the materials like this, and like these, and like these, then you will need to go to the Chirp website, which is down below, and you can download all those materials for a very low price. And if you do not wish to pay a very low price, you do not wish to download anything, you don't have to. You can create your own art materials, just follow along, draw things for yourself, be creative, and you can make these art activities happen with very little fuss and with lots of fun. Let's go do some art together. 
All right, we're ready for our art time together. What you will need is this sheet printed out from the Chirp website, a piece of paper that says God loves people who, some sort of person-shaped drawing. You can do this yourself as you can with all of these items or you can print one out from the Chirp website. Some construction paper is a good idea. I have some Google Eyes, some crayons. This kind of multicultural crayons is a good one when we are doing people because in the normal crayon box there's only maybe tan and brown and a black and in reality if we're going to color people we need crayons that are a wider variety of browns all the way to really dark brown and black so that's a good idea both of those are a good idea a glue stick i have a scissors i need to cut some of these things out i think that is all that we need today we're going to start with our communication activity and i need this page and this page Grown-ups, you get to decide before you do the activity if you think your child is ready to cut these little squares out by herself or if you think it would be a better idea for you to do that for her. One of the things that you can do to bridge that gap to help your child practice cutting skills is cut out the strips in this way, you only need one of these boxes, by the way. Cut out the strips so that they look like this, and then help your child, hand over hand, just make snip, snip. And there are only two cuts, you don't have to turn any corners, and it helps kids get the idea of how a scissors should work. Snip, snip. Let me tell you kids a story about this scissors. I have had this since I was six or seven years old, that is a really long time. My grandparents found it on the side of the freeway. And it's very fancy. It says Italy right here. So I'm assuming my scissors were made in Italy. They are the perfect size. They're not humongous. I don't, I'm not a super huge person. So sometimes those really scissors with really long tips seem a little too big for me. This one is the perfect size, and I hope I have it forever. It's very special to me. Now that I have these little pictures cut out, let me show you what they say. We're gonna glue them on this paper, which says, God loves people who are happy. God loves people who hit. God loves people who kick. God loves people who share. God loves people who are sad. God loves people who are angry. These are just some things that we might experience in our lifetimes. And we want to remind ourselves that no matter how we feel, no matter what we do, God loves us. So I am gonna glue these all on my paper. I'm gonna let you watch me do it. So I'm gonna tilt the camera down. There we go. I'm gonna use my glue stick. I have to use a lot of muscles to get that off. I'm gonna put share on here first. Did you see what I did? I put the glue here first and then I put the box on. Another thing is I could put the glue on this box and then I could put it on. There are so many ways to do art but I think I like putting the glue on the paper best. God loves people who are happy. God loves people who are angry. God loves people who hit. God loves people. There, my project is finished. Next, we are going to do our art project. For this project, I need a person-shaped thing, drawing, and I am going to decorate this so that it looks like a person. I am gonna make it look like me. 
because I thought that might be funny. You can use any sort of things you want to make this person look like a person. You can cut it out or you can not cut it out. I think I'm not going to cut it out today. First of all, I need to pick out a color that kind of looks like the color of my skin. So I'm gonna look at my crayons. Hmm. Maybe, let's see, maybe this color? I don't know, I think I might be a little paler than that. That looks a little more like it. This color is called, oh dear, it's very small writing. It's called apricot. So I'm going to go away and color this head. Actually, maybe I should put the clothes on first. Hmm, I think I'll color first and then put the clothes on afterwards. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's what I did so far. I decided to make a face. I don't have brown, I didn't want to stick on brown yarn because it's hard to make that stick with a glue stick. So I decided to draw the hair. I drew some eyes and a nose and a mouth. My eyes are brown and my hair is brown and I put on some glasses. And I made some clothes. Today I'm wearing a black skirt. So I think maybe I can show you. Here's a black skirt. So I made a little black skirt out of construction paper that I'm gonna glue on right here. And then I decided my top is kind of brown and splotchy with black parts on it. So I made a brown top and I'm thinking I might draw some black splotches on it. I don't know, it's really hard. Maybe I'll just leave it brown today. So I kind of traced the top. So I'm gonna cut this top out and put it on and see what happens. It turned out not too bad. I didn't glue it on yet. But that's what my top will look like. I think I'll glue it on right now. So you can watch. Some glue for my top, some glue for my skirt. Oh, my hair is inside my top. I might have to redraw some of that hair. And my top is way too long. So my skirt needs to fit. So I'll put the skirt on over the top. Hey, that's not too bad. It looks like I'm wearing clothes. Now I have to redraw some of my hair because it went underneath my shirt. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty long. Although I did just get a cut because I thought it's been a long time. There. Now I need to color some more skin, the part that's sticking out. That same skin color. There we go. My legs are, I'm gonna decide not to wear shoes in this picture because I like to be barefoot sometimes in the summer. There. Now, do you see a resemblance? Yep, we kind of look the same. That is our art for today. Oh, the camera's all crazy. There, I fixed it. That is our art for today. We made our communication activity that reminds us God loves people who are angry, are sad, hit, are happy. God loves people all the time. And then we made a person to remind ourselves that God loves people. And I'm a person, other people are people too. So if you have time and if you want to, make another one of these, make five or 10 of them that look like your family members, that look like the people in your neighborhood, that look like your friends, that look like someone that you know from TV. You can make lots of them and hang them up all over your room to remind yourself that God loves people. Thanks for doing art with me today. It was fun. Wasn't that fun? I loved that art. I like cutting out things and making tiny little clothes for my person. So much fun. Now we are going to talk to God together. I need to start with the red. Here we go. God, you are Hmm. Creative, 
God is super creative. Not only did he make all of the people and all of the different wonderful animals that live on our planet and all of the different plants that live on our planet, but he made water and sunshine and air and space and planets. And he is just, he is so creative. I can hardly believe it. God, whoops, you are creative. God is an artist. Now we will do orange. I will tell God, thank you for, well, I should tell him thank you for some of those things he created, huh? The earth, thank you for sunshine. He's very good at making things. Now I'm gonna ask for God's help. Please help me. Hmm. Well, you know, this virus that's been going around is a little bit scary, but I want God to help me trust him. Please help me trust you. That means that even when I'm scared, I know that God loves me and he will be with me and I will not be alone. Also, God help me make good choices. I wanna do the things that are best for me, the things that are best for other people and animals and our nature all around us. And I also want to make God's heart happy. So I wanna make good choices. God, please take care of my family. My friends, I love you. The end, amen. Thank you for talking to God with me. Remember, you don't have to use pictures to talk to God. You can do it with your mouth. You can do it with your brain and no words out of your mouth at all. You can talk with other people. You can talk to God when you're alone. You can talk to God anywhere, anytime and he is listening and he cares what you have to say. I will keep telling you, God loves you. I love you. I'm so happy we got to spend this time having church with Chirp together today. Come back next week. We will do another fun activity together. And until then, don't forget, God loves you. God loves people. And I love you too. See you next week. Bye.